you riding in the front seat like a big boy. Look at you. You're doing great. I think you decided looking out the window is pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Okay. There ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got to mind her own. Just scared the shit out of me. Nice road here for a walk. Walk run this morning. This road goes out. Well, I went out a mile. I'd say probably about two miles, judging from the distance on Google Maps, to a dead end. And if you're not in a big RV, you can go probably all the way out. According to Google Earth, it looks like there's a big spot out there to camp. But the, uh, these weird little flies are really bad. Really bad. They're worse than the mosquitoes on the PCT. Except they don't bite. These things don't bite. They're not actually... I mean, they swarm. But, you know, as heavy as I'm breathing, because I'm running and walking fast, I haven't swallowed any. I think I even swallowed a couple of mosquitoes on my hike. But, yeah. One of the things I always look for when um, looking for good boondocking is uh, nice, good walking. And this definitely has it. Of course, I'd be bored here in a day or two. Because I'd be like, oh, been out there. No, it's out there. I don't need to go out there anymore. But it's beautiful. Lots of birds. Lots of bird wildlife. And uh, Huck is nine weeks old, so he stayed back. If I want to go out and get you know, some decent exercise, couple miles, I leave him behind. Probably because he's still learning how to walk on a leash. And he gets stubborn and doesn't want to walk. And he's got little itty bitty legs. So I think we did two miles one day, but I carried him a lot. Don't want to um, hurt his hips while they're in development, his hips and his legs. So while he needs a lot of exercise, I have to be mindful about making sure he gets rest, not pushing him. And uh, so while he's little, um, I still need to get out and get exercise by myself. And I've had him, uh, what, nine days now? He's getting really good already. Actually, he's not even getting. He is really good already about being alone in the rig. The first few days I had him, like, the first two days, I didn't leave him alone at all. I don't think. You know, I mean, being alone for him was learning how to be in his bed alone without my attention while I laid in bed for a little while. And then, and then it became... I'll go outside for a few minutes, see how he does. And I think the worst of it one day was um, about 10 minutes of whining. And then he stopped and started chewing on his chew toy. So, no, actually, the 10 minutes was when I tried to crate him that night, actually. The, the going outside was, um, I'd go outside and he'd whine. I'd wait for a pause in his whining to go inside because I didn't want to encourage the whining. And so I'd go inside, hang out with him a minute, go back outside, he'd whine, I'd wait for a pause in the whine, you know, wait a little longer, a few minutes longer, let him whine a few minutes longer, go in. And eventually, I was able to go outside for like 10 minutes and no whining at all. And now... He'll whine a little bit when I first go outside, but then he'll stop immediately. Like, I can hear him inside the rig probably when I left today. Literally, he might whine for less than a minute. And then he comforts himself and goes in his bed and finds something to chew on. And um, so he's doing really good with that. While creating a bond with him 
was really important. I also um, have to be careful. I don't want him to have separation anxiety. So uh, definitely had to work on both of those at the same time, making sure we have a bond and he trusts me. And, um, but at the same time, not falling into, um, freaking out when I'm not around, partly because I do have a big trip planned next, um, fall. I'll talk more about that later, uh, where I'm going to have to leave him with a friend for a couple of weeks. So I'm already thinking about that and how I'm going to prepare him for that. And me <laughs> leaving Capone behind for the JMT was so hard. So not only is it preparing my buddy, it's also going to be preparing me. And, um, so that's something I'm already going to be working on, making sure that he'll, um, once I find out exactly who I'm going to be leaving him with, um, doing some practice runs there. So, oh, wow. I don't know why it struck me. You see the way the sun is just shining, shining through the trees and up there, can you see the bugs swarming? How bad they are? They're terrible. They're these just little flies. There we go. That's beautiful right there. I'm going to still. I'm gonna finish my walk run. I'll check in with you later from, what is this, Eagle Point, I think? But I'll check in with you later, I have more to show you. It's funny. It's always still a little bit of a relief to come back from a hike and see that my rig is still here. <laughs> Can't wait to see Puppy and see how he did. Puppy! Hi! How are you? You're... Hi! What are you doing? So it's really important to not make a big deal when I get home, not like go crazy and shower him in a ton of affection because then that teaches him that me being gone is a big deal and it'll uh, heighten his stress. So just come in and business as usual, act normal. I did say hi to him. I kind of forgot because he's so cute, but I think that's okay. Just, you know, I'm not on the floor cuddling him and going crazy. So yeah, look at him totally relaxed. Actually, it looks like he might have been sleeping even. It's a good dog. Good walk. That was good. Welcome back to RV life. This is my first real video since my hike. I'm actually uh, out and about and boondocking again and I found this really great location that I thought you would enjoy. Huck and I thought you would enjoy it. Huck's training is coming along quite well. We 
have a lot of work to do, but yeah, he's doing pretty well. So right now we're at uh, Eagle Ridge Park on the Klamath Lake uh, near Klamath Falls, Oregon. And it's a really cool boondocking spot. You can stay here free up to 14 days. It has a bathroom and it's just a really nice place to hang out. It's been pretty quiet. Just a bunch of other full timers here uh, right now. There's one, two, three, like four other full timers. And so it's been kind of fun getting to know other full timers and getting the community. Remember I said that this chapter of my life might be about less about being completely alone all the time and more about um, being around people and, and creating community and making friends, even though I have a new buddy here. So just thought I'd show you around uh, Eagle Ridge Park, let you see kind of what it's like for a place like this. It is on freecampsites.net and a lot of the places that I find are either on freecampsites.net or I use that as a guide to kind of find places and then go explore. But uh, this is... This is, uh, it's pretty popular because it's on freecampsites.net. The only thing is there is a four mile dirt road getting out here and the reviews said it was really washboard. Lucky for me, when I came in, I was following the grader, <laughs> literally following the grader. And so it's recently been graded and uh, the part where I was following him was really nice, but he was five miles an hour and he let me pass and it was pretty washboarded, but uh, he finished up yesterday. I saw him come down and so the ride out shouldn't be too bad. And I am gonna go today. Uh, it's just kind of hard, you know, I do want to socialize Huck, and that's part of the reason I've stayed here for a few days because, you know, I've been kind of hanging out with people. Huck and I have been hanging out with people, and it's been good to socialize him. There's been boats and trailers coming in and out, and the grader came in and out, and lots of activity. So it's been really good for um, um, socializing Huck. That's really what I'm going to be doing more over the next several months is maybe probably even going to campgrounds. I want to expose him to as much as I can so that he's not afraid of all the different things that we're going to encounter in our RV life. But I've been here for a couple of days. The bugs are really, really, really... Hi, Huck. Hi, baby. Want to say hi? <gasps> say hi, baby. Say hi, baby. Say hi, friendlies. Um, I should have named you friendly. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? But the little little lady bee flies, they don't bite, but they're horrendous. They're out, I mean, they were just, my whole door last night was covered in these flies, so much that I couldn't even close my door. And they were underneath my awning, swarming really bad. Um, and one of my buddies, John and I were hanging out yesterday and we noticed they were so bad, they were actually leaving a shadow, the cloud. There was a cloud of them and we noticed the shadow moving across the pavement, that's how bad it was. Oh, the other thing about this lake is the green algae. Uh, I learned, thank God, there were people down here when I got here because I want to get acclimated to water. Um, so I got a crash course in the blue-green algae, and I know now to look out for that. And they told me pretty much as soon as I got down here that Huck can't go in the water. The blue-green algae can actually kill them. So I'm going to try to show it to you later when the sun comes up, show you how bad it is. I mean, it actually looks kind of swampy. So if you have dogs and you come down here, um, your dog can't go swimming in it. It's kind of a shame, but I was talking to another couple in the schoolie that came in last night, and they said um, they've been running into it a lot, all up and down California and everything too. So um, that's going to be something I'm going to have to look out for. I would like to get him acclimated to water, but I'm going to have to be really careful um, and make sure I keep him safe. So what do you think? What do you think? And I'm going to pack up and we're going to hit the road and we're going to go find some boondocking. Um, yeah, because I need to get some work done. And Huck, Huck, hi. And I'm still, you know, because he hasn't had all his shots, uh, I'm really careful about how much exposure he gets. I'm sure dogs come down here and everything. So I'm really careful about how much exposure he gets um, to other dogs and to potential areas where dogs might be going to the bathroom. So if I can go out again for a few days and just go out into the boondock where other people don't go, I know it's safer for him. And we're free to play and run and stuff like that a little bit more. So, all right, I hope you enjoy this beautiful Eagle Ridge Park on the Klamath River. Great free boondocking for up to 14 days. And it's open year round, I heard. So, all right, I'll see you in a few. What do you think?
Stay tuned next time. I'm going to visit something you're probably never expected to see in Oregon. And I think you're going to be really surprised and you're going to love it as much as I did. So be sure to subscribe and click notifications to make sure you never miss a thing. And if you want to see the outtakes that didn't make it into this video, check out Patreon where investors get more. Thank you so much for hanging with me. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. I'll see you soon from Huck and Meat. Woof.